The Variskin or Hercinian orogeny is a geologic mountain building event caused by late Paleozoic continental collision between Euramerica, Laurasia, and Gondwana to form the supercontinent of Pangaea. Nomenclature. The name Variskin comes from the medieval Latin name for the district Varisa, the home of a Germanic tribe, the Varisi. Eduard Zeus, professor of geology at the University of Vienna, coined the term in 1880. Varicite, a rare green mineral first discovered in the Vogtland district of Saxony in Germany, which is in the Variskin belt, has the same etymology. Hercinian, on the other hand, derives from the Hercinian forest. Both words were descriptive terms of strike directions observed by geologists in the field, Variskin for southwest to northeast, Hercinian for northwest to southeast. The Variskin direction reflected the direction of ancient fold belts cropping out throughout Germany and adjacent countries and the meaning shifted from direction to the fold belt proper. One of the pioneers in research on the Variskin fold belt was the German geologist Franz Kosmat, establishing a still valid division of the European Varicides in 1927. The other direction, Hercinian, for the direction of the Harz Mountains in Germany, saw a similar shift in meaning. Today, Hercinian is often used as a synonym for Variskin but is somewhat less used than the latter. In the United States, it is used only for European orogenies, the contemporaneous and genetically linked mountain building phases in the Appalachian Mountains have different names. The regional term Variskin underwent a further meaning shift since the 1960s. Geologists generally began to use it to characterize late Paleozoic fold belts and orogenic phases having an age of approximately 380 to 280 ma. Some publications use the term Variskin for fold belts of even younger age, deviating from the meaning as a term for the North American and European orogeny related to the gondwana laurasia collision. Distribution the North American and European Variskin belt includes the mountains of Portugal and Spain, Galicia, and Pyrenees, southwestern Ireland, i.e. Munster, Cornwall, Devon, Pembrokeshire, the Gower Peninsula and the Vale of Glamorgan. Its effects are present in France from Brittany, below the Paris Basin to the Ardennes, the Massif Central, the Vosges and Corsica. The Variskin belt reappears in Sardinia in Italy and in Germany where the Rhine Massif, Ardennes, Eiffel, Hunsruck, Taunus and other regions on both sides of Middle Rhine Valley, the Black Forest and Harz Mountains remain as testimony. In southern Iberia it is marked by a classic strike-slip suture zone between very distinct suspect terrains, and clear evidence can be seen of ductile shearing between high-grade metamorphic rocks and lower-grade sedimentary rocks in a wide belt north of the Algarve and extending into the northernmost part the autonomous region of Andalusia and southern Extremadura. In the Czech Republic and southwestern Poland the Bohemian Massif is the eastern end of the unmodified Variskin belt of crustal deformation in Europe. Further Variskin developments to the southeast are partly hidden and overprinted by the Alpine orogeny. In the Alps a Variskin core is built by Mercantor, Pelvu, Beldon, Mont Blanc and R Massif. The Neric, Greek and Turkish mountain chains are the southeastern termination of the Variskin proper. The Variskin was contemporaneous with the Acadian and Alleghenian orogeny in the United States and Canada, responsible for forming the Washita and Appalachian Mountains. North American areas with Variskin fold belts include New England, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and Labrador. The Moroccan Meseta and the Anti-Atlas in northwestern Africa show close relations to the Appalachian Mountains and used to form the eastern part of the Appalachian orogeny before the opening of the Atlantic Ocean in Jurassic times. Variskin mountains in a broad chronological sense include the Urals, the Pamir, the Tian Shan and other Asian fold belts. Formation the Variskin orogeny involved a complicated heterogeneous assembly of different microplates and heterochronous collisions, making the exact reconstruction of the plate tectonic processes difficult. Plate convergence that caused the Caledonian orogeny in the Silurian continued to form the Variskin orogeny in the succeeding Devonian and Carboniferous periods. 
Both orogenies resulted in the assembly of a supercontinent, Pangaea, which was essentially complete by the end of the Carboniferous. In the Ordovician period, a land mass, which has been named Gondwana, present-day South America, Africa, Antarctica and Australia, straddled the space between the South Pole and the equator on one side of the globe. Off to the west were three other masses, Laurentia, Siberia and Baltica, located as if on the vertices of a triangle. To the south of them was a large archipelago, the Terrain Avalonia, rifted off the North Gondwana margin in early Ordovician. By the end of the Silurian and in early Devonian times, Baltica and Laurentia drifted towards each other, closing the Iapetus Ocean between them. They collided in the Caledonian Orogeny and formed the Caledonide Mountains of North America, Greenland, the British Isles and Norway. Seafloor spreading to the south of Avalonia pushed the latter into North Laurentia and thrust up the northern Appalachian Mountains in the Akkadian phase of the Caledonian Orogeny. Contemporaneously the Tornquist Sea between Avalonia and Baltica was entirely closed. Thus Avalonia formed the southern coast of the new continent Euramerica, Laurasia, the old red sandstone continent in present-day North America, the British Isles, northern Germany, Scandinavia and western Russia. In late Devonian and in the Carboniferous the archipelago Armorica of southern Europe, which had rifted off Gondwana after Avalonia later in the Ordovician, was pushed into Avalonia, creating a second range, the North American, European Variscan, to the east of the Caledonide, Appalachian. The collision of Gondwana proper with Laurasia followed in the early Carboniferous, when the Variscan belt was already in place and actively developing. By the end of the Carboniferous, Gondwana had united with Laurasia on its western end through northern South America and northwestern Africa. Siberia was approaching from the northeast, separated from Laurasia only by shallow waters. Collision with Siberia produced the Ural Mountains in the latest Paleozoic and completed the formation of Pangaea. Eastern Laurasia was still divided from Gondwana by the Paleotethys Ocean. In the Triassic period of the Mesozoic era, animals could move without oceanic impediment from Siberia over the North Pole to Antarctica over the South Pole. In the Mesozoic era, rifting and subsequent opening of the Atlantic split Pangaea. As a consequence, the Variscan belt around the then periphery of Baltica ended up many hundreds of miles from the Appalachians.